Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel e-commerce project video tutorial, we will learn that how we can make a user registration. So these are the points for this video. First of all, we need a route for user registration. Then we will make a HTML form so that we can put the user information inside this form. Encrypt the password before saving the data inside a database. And uh, we will just uh, write a small code for save the data inside the user table. And then we will check our complete flow with the new user like add to cart, buy a product and everything, right? And uh, then uh, at the last we will push our code to the GitHub repository. If you just want to join me on Insta, then this is my Insta link and or, or Insta ID. You can just join me here, right? So for a moment, you know that we have a two user and this data was uh, seed by the Laravel seeding, right? So now this is our project now you can see that for a moment we have only login option here we don't have a any registration option so let's add a registration option here right and just go for the header and here you can see that we have a login option so the similarly we can add one more option let's say register uh, like this right and uh, let's just make a route with this and our route can be also register, right? But uh, this is a link actually, but we don't have any route for this name. So we need to add a route for it. So just jump in a web.php and uh, we can make a route here. So just use here route. Uh, or we can just put here a view and our path is register and as well as our uh, view name is also register right so now let's make a view with the name of register so just define here register dot blade dot php right and uh, after that we can just copy the whole login form because both forms are pretty much similar we just need to add some more data also right so for a moment now you can see that we got a registration form same as a login form right here you can see that the both form are similar but uh, we can just change it a little bit so first of all that uh, we okay so just uh, copy this uh, uh, csrf token to outside our uh, div right now let's make a one more field here and this field name will be user name and let's change the type of it like uh, text name will be name right and uh, placeholder will be like a uh, user name or something right so now you will just feel it more likely to register and let's just convert this login button to the register right so this is fine for a moment yeah one more thing that we need to just change here the action so let's define an action inside a route and action will be a pretty similar to the login so we can just use a register with the post method keep in mind this method should be post and register function also right and uh, let's just change this section with the register now let's open your uh, user controller and make a function with a user register like like this and uh, again what we need now we need to just get the data from the form so that let's take a parameter dollar request and this param parameter type will be a request class as we are just mentioned in a registration and let's check that what data we are getting inside a form so just use here request and input method so that we can just get to know that how many data we are getting in a form right so let's say for a moment just add some uh, dummy data and here you can see that this, everything is working fine right all data we are getting name email address and password the three things only we need for this because name email address and password so now uh, 
just remove this line and just make a instance of user model so just write here uh, new user right so this will be the same but at that time we just need to make a new instance and just write here user name right and it will come from a dollar request and we can put here a name similar for the password and email address right so just write here email like this and at the last password and password we need to encrypt it so that we will use this uh, a hash method right so just simply put here hash colon colon make so don't be confused that why we are using here because uh, we just need to just in, uh, encrypt this password like this right and if you just want to check that did we just did it with the seeding also yes we do it with the seeding also right so again this is fine now just write here user and let's save it and if everything should be fine then it should be redirect to the uh, login page right so we can do the two thing from uh, one thing from the two first thing is we can directly save a session second thing after registration user we can just redirect to the login page and we can just login it again so the all website have a different different approach so what we will do we will just redirect to the login page and we will register it again right uh, login it again and just simply write here return i think uh, everything is fine so now let's make a registration uh, let's say my name is uh, peter and uh, anil is already there so let's use sam direct test.com and we can use a password one two three four five login it now you can see that we are on a login page after registration right so let's check that the registry is uh, user is registered or not user is registered with the everything fine because now you can see that we have a password and all right so what we need to do here so now let's log in the sam at the rate test and password one two three four five login all right password username is not match so let me check what's the wrong with it uh, it should be a sam at the rate one two three password one two three four five okay so let me uh, register the another one user because uh, i think there is some gap between it yep actually i just my mistake i need to just use here password field that's why this is not working right so I can just uh, remove this pass uh, user from a moment hard code and I can try it again go again with the registration and uh, let's say Sam again Sam at the rate test.com and one two three four five my username right register it everything is fine let's see again is it registered or not user is again registered and the sam at the rate test.com password one two three four five and try, try to login the user is logged in so for a moment let's open a card table and you will find that because we are just completing the flow our card table is completely empty right so uh, let's add some product inside it i'm just going to add this one and let's see what we got here so one product is added here so let's say i just want to buy it go on a cart order now and uh, this is all the details like usa or something something right and uh, payment option can be cash because other option we did not made yet and uh, now let's check the my order option is already there if i just want to check my order table everything is working fine so uh, this user have only one uh, this user have the id with the six and here you can see that right Six. That's why it have only one product. The other products uh, orders are actually from the another user. That's why we are able to see the only one order. So that's all about the registration 
if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel very soon i am just going to start a new series on a react uh so if you are just watching this video now uh, around around uh, you can say that the 20th of, of october then you can join my uh, react course also even after that you can also join but uh, yes i am just going to start it it now and this is completely with the job oriented training you can see that with the react uh, in our every video you will get to know the interview questions and every topic with the logical way right so again thanks for watching this video uh, let's join me on insta and bye bye take care